This is one of the final practices before the first nationally televised bowl game hosted by the Marine Corps, a culmination of several training camps and Marines guiding them along the way. What, two more days, right? Yes, sir. And then we go kick some, some west, right? Yes, sir. You all ready for it? Yes, sir. We're going to win, right? Yes, sir. For East Team player 56, Courtney Wynn, the game holds much more weight than previous challenges. Because of that this is actually a Marine game, it's sponsored by the Marine Corps. So I'm, act, I'm just going to play my hardest and um, hopefully you'll see their, their image in me on the field. His coach and legal guardian, Shannon Messick, retired after 20 years in the Marine Corps and piqued Wynn's interest in football. He has been a role model for Wynn for many years. I mean, just his constant dedication to our country has pretty much just influenced me greatly. Um, uh, I've never seen anybody work so diligently and so hard just to keep our country free. While West Team won the bowl game 17 to 14, Wynn still views this as his top event. I've had a lot of great achievements, but I think this by far is the, the top just being that the way this whole thing came to be, them being becoming my parents, me being adopted and things like that. I think it's just an awesome experience and I'm glad it happened now. Messick and his wife, also a former Marine, are working toward legally adopting Wynn, who after the Semper Fi Bowl is off to play for the University of Virginia. From Phoenix, Arizona, I'm Sergeant Andrew Milner.